Pansy Parkinson was a pureblood witch who attended Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. She was sorted into Slytherin House and in her fifth year became a prefect. In the same year, she became a member of the short-lived Inquisitorial Squad. This is the life of Pansy Parkinson. Pansy was born in Great Britain. She was a member of the Parkinson family and possibly a descendant of Perseus Parkinson, a former minister for magic. Her family is listed as one of the Sacred 28. Even as Pansy was born after the directory was published, she was the latest generation of her pureblood family line. Pansy began her education at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry in 1991 and was sorted into Slytherin House. She soon became good friends with fellow Slytherin boys Draco Malfoy, Vincent Crabbe and Gregory Goyle. She was also popular with the girls, Millicent Bulstrode, Tracy Davis and Daphne Greengrass. Both she and Draco were like leaders amongst their friends and used this position to bully other students. During Pansy's first flying class, which Slytherin shared with its rival house Gryffindor, she teased Parvati Patil for defending Neville Longbottom after Draco Malfoy threw away his Marimbaral. This was the start of a long-lived mean streak for Pansy. Throughout her education, she would belittle countless other students with whom she disliked. In 1993, the Hogwarts Express was stopped and entered by the mentors searching for Sirius Black. During this infiltration, Harry Potter fainted in the presence of a Dementor and Pansy was one of the Slytherin students who took to mocking him for this throughout the rest of the school year. During a Care of Magical Creatures lesson, Draco Malfoy was attacked by Buckbeak the Hippogriff after he approached the creature without caution and insulted it, even after Hagrid had stated that this was an extremely dangerous thing to do. Pansy was in tears after the attack and was concerned enough to follow him to the hospital wing. Afterwards, she frequently fawned over Malfoy's injury, which she exaggerated in order to get attention and also in an attempt to get Rubius Hagrid into trouble with the Ministry of Magic, which evidently he did, as it resulted in the planned execution of Buckbeak, much to the delight of Pansy and her friends. During Pansy's fourth year, Hogwarts hosted the Triwizard Tournament, a special wizarding event that attracted a lot of media attention. Pansy was among the students who gave Daily Prophet journalist Rita Skeeter false information on Harry Potter, Rubius Hagrid and Hermione Granger. One piece was the making up of false rumours which detailed that Harry and Hermione were romantically involved. She was highly amused by the Potter Stinks badges passed around by her fellow Slytherins and also laughed when Draco Malfoy's Densagio Hex accidentally hit Hermione when he and Harry started a duel in a school hallway leaving Hermione with temporarily oversized front teeth. Pansy accompanied Draco to the Yule Ball that Christmas, wearing frilly pink robes. While there, she expressed outrage upon seeing famous Quidditch player and Triwizard champion Victor Crumb escort Hermione Granger to the ball, and again later when a Daily Prophet article commented on how stunning Hermione looked at the event. Also that year, a slightly softer side of Pansy was shown when she clearly expressed, although later tried to conceal, a fondness for unicorns during a Care of Magical Creatures class. During this school year, she was known to wear a watch which Nifflers tried to bite off her wrist during one of Hagrid's classes. In her fifth year, Pansy became a Slytherin prefect along with Draco. At the start of the school year, she shared a Thestral drawn carriage with Draco for the ride up to the castle. This school year would see Ministry official Dolores Umbridge appointed as the school's Defence Against the Dark Arts Professor. Later on in her regime, Umbridge created a group called the Inquisitorial Squad, of which Pansy was a member. While Hagrid was away, Professor Grubbly Plank stood in for his position as Care of Magical Creatures teacher. During one lesson, Draco imitated Hermione by raising his hand over enthusiastically, which caused Pansy to shriek with laughter only then to be startled by the pile of sticks they were studying, as they turned out to be bow truggles. When Hagrid returned to his teaching post, Pansy cruelly remarked to Dolores Umbridge that it was difficult to understand him when he spoke, 
and that everyone hated his subject while giggling to herself. During Quidditch matches that year, Pansy directed her fellow Slytherins in singing Weasley is our King to mock Ron Weasley as well as the other Gryffindor players. Pansy also attempted to unsettle Harry before a game by telling him that Warrington planned on knocking him off his broom. Harry was unfazed and responded that Warrington's aim was so pathetic he'd be more worried if he was aiming for the person next to him. Later on in the year, when Pansy saw Harry Potter and Cho Chang out on a date for Valentine's Day, she insulted them both. When Dumbledore's army members attempted to escape from the room of requirement later in the year, Pansy searched for female DA members in the girls' bathrooms and grabbed the list of names as evidence. Pansy and other squad members were jinxed during a student rebellion after Fred and George Weasley's departure from Hogwarts. Pansy missed a day of classes while recovering from a hex that made her sprout a pair of antlers. In 1996, on her way to Hogwarts for her sixth year, Pansy sat in the same train compartment with Draco, Blaise Sabini and a few other Slytherins. Draco had his head in Pansy's lap and she stroked his hair while smirking, like anyone would have loved to be in her place. Although upset by Draco's suggestion that he might not return to Hogwarts for his seventh year, Pansy seemed impressed by his implication that he had taken the dark mark and joined the Death Eaters. Harry Potter got the impression that she and Draco were cosier than ever during their sixth year. When the train stopped, Pansy held her hand out in offer for Draco to take it. He told her to go ahead without him, as he wanted to check to see if Harry was really spying on him, as he believed he saw Harry's trainers. At the welcoming feast this year, Albus Dumbledore announced that Severus Snape would now be taking on the position of defense against the dark arts teacher. Pansy, along with all students in Slytherin House, roared with applause at this, save for Draco, who was still brewing over his decision to become a Death Eater. Also in potions that year, Horace Slughorn would be filling in for Snape after he took on his new position as defense against the dark arts professor. Pansy was not among the few students who had advanced to new level potions. Later on in the year, after Harry Potter discovered that it was Draco behind Katie Bell's injury, Harry cursed him with the spell Sectum Semper. Upon hearing the news, Pansy rushed to visit him in the hospital wing and lost no time in vilifying Harry far and wide. At the end of the year, Albus Dumbledore was killed by Severus Snape and students attended his funeral service in which he was buried next to the school lake, Pansy included. Pansy was present on September 1st, 1997 aboard the Hogwarts Express when Death Eaters stormed the train in search of Harry Potter. During Pansy's final year at Hogwarts, Lord Voldemort was in indirect control of the school through Severus Snape as headmaster and Amicus and Electo Caro as the Dark Arts and Muggle Studies professors, respectively. As a Slytherin, Pansy was probably one of the favoured students and would not have been on the receiving end of their brutal and unfair punishments. On May 1st, 1998, Lord Voldemort approached the school with his Death Eater army and offered those inside the Hogwarts castle a chance to turn Harry Potter over to him in exchange for sparing all their lives. When in the Great Hall, Pansy was the only person to stand up in favour of doing so. What are you waiting for? The students of Gryffindor, Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw houses all drew their wands on her as a result, and Professor McGonagall dismissed Slytherin House from the Great Hall first, starting with Pansy. This was described magnificently in the book when it reads, Before Harry could speak, there was a massive movement. The Gryffindors in front of him had risen and stood facing, not Harry, but the Slytherins. Then the Hufflepuffs stood, and almost at the same moment, the Ravenclaws, all of them with their backs to Harry, all of them looking towards Pansy instead. And Harry, awestruck and overwhelmed, saw wands emerging everywhere, pulled from beneath cloaks and from under sleeves. Pansy left Hogwarts with her housemates and likely was one of the few not to return as reinforcements during the Battle of Hogwarts with Professor Slughorn. Instead, she may have been among the Slytherin students that Voldemort told Lucius Malfoy had come to join him. However, this is unlikely as she seemed terrified of the thought of Voldemort attacking Hogwarts, so it is more likely that she just didn't take either side. 
Very little is known of what happened to Pansy after the Second Wizarding War or later on in her life. Her friendship with Draco Malfoy apparently ended sometime after they completed school, most likely due to Draco's relationship with Astoria Greengrass. And that is all for today's video everyone, thank you so much for watching, please consider subscribing to the channel if it is your first time watching, and if you're a fan of the channel and feel like you'd like to contribute, my restructured Patreon account is up and running, and in exchange for your contribution of a minimum of $1 a month, there are many rewards you can receive, like suggesting one of my upcoming videos, exclusive Patreon only videos for you to watch, and even one to one Skype calls where we can hang out and talk everything Harry Potter or anything in general. So please make sure to check out some of my other videos on the left hand side of the screen. My second channel Game of Thrones lore is on the right hand side of the screen. And if you want to check out some merch, I've got a merch store on the bottom right or you can click the link in the description below. Thanks again everyone and I hope you all have a great day.